Good morning, everyone. I apologize for the delay. There was a mix-up in scheduling. So today is the sacred heart of Jesus. This is, well, one of the questions that comes to mind with this particular feast day, the solemnity, is, is the heart of Jesus merely a symbol of, you know, all the love that he has for us, or is it an actual devotion to his sacred heart, his physical heart? For some people, the idea of having a devotion to a, a random body part is probably a little odd, but as Catholics, you know, we're, we are odd, so that's kind of how this works out for us. So it's both. It's both a devotion to his actual physical heart that beats for each one of us, and it's a devotion also for the love of Christ himself for all of us. And so one of the things that dawns on me for this particular feast is that oftentimes it can be very hard to see God's love for us. It can be hard to understand in what ways he loves us. The thing is, though, that our very existence is proof of his love for us. The very fact that we are here right now and our hearts are beating, just like Christ's heart, is proof of his love for us. Every day that we can wake up is a day that God loves us. Every day that our hearts are beating is a day that God loves us. Every moment of our lives is a moment that God loves us. We are his children, and his heart beats for us like no other. And so I want to take a few minutes just to reflect on the love that God has shown us. Just quietly by ourselves, just remember and recall the, the big moments, the little moments, the, the early mornings, the late nights that God has shown you his love the beautiful vistas, the, the beautiful flowers, the beautiful inter interactions you've had with God and with your brothers and sisters, your spouses, your, your children, your mothers and fathers. All those moments are moments that God loves us. So let's take a moment just to bring those to mind and remember them.